Good morning. Welcome to the Chag Asidur. Of all our programs, this is probably my favorite. And the reason why, it really captures in the Asidur the mission of the school. It captures in a bottle what our purpose is. Our goal, our mission is to raise and develop sophisticated, well-rounded Jewish children. Our goal is that our children, when they leave here, they're prepared for a meaningful life. They're prepared to pursue their interests, their curiosity, but they have a deep relationship with the Kaddish Baruch, a deep relationship with Hashem, and they recognize in all circumstances it creates opportunities. And I'll share a, a personal woe that happened to me yesterday, which became a deep spiritual experience for me. So I was traveling yesterday, and uh, I woke up early in the morning to um, check into my, my flight, and it didn't work. So I was in New York, LaGuardia Airport, so I figured, okay, I'll, the flight's at 9.30, I'll get to LaGuardia by 7.15, I should be good to go. I explained to them the, the situation, the ticket agent, they said, okay, go to this line, they'll take care of you, like the, serve, the customer service line. There were 10 people in front of me at 7.15 at LaGuardia. It took me two hours to get to the front, because <laughs> you're in New York, and what you're having is each person was almost a fist fight, yelling at each other about 10 to 15 minutes until they resolved their issues before they finally got to me. So, needless to say, by the way, I've never missed a fight in my life. This was a rough trip. <laughs> so they basically told me, because apparently there's storms, they canceled most of the flights, I couldn't get on any alternative flights. They said, if you want, you will be standby for the 11.15, no, 12.25 flight. That was 11.25. So I said, I'll take my chances. So they put me on standby for the next flight. And meanwhile, try to get on other flights to see what I can do. And every option was basically turning away from me. And I was stuck basically being standby on this flight. And I looked at the app. I was number five. Pretty stressful. So I'm watching as they're starting to board the plane. They're down to two people. I asked the, you know, the counter, you know, the person at the check-in, like, how are we looking? She said, unfortunately, everyone has checked in on the flight, so not, not looking good for you. And I'm just like at a loss at this point because I wanted to be here for this. I wanted to get home. And I already thinking in my head, I'm going to have to basically rent the car and drive from LaGuardia to, to get here. Not so fun, not so good. And I'm just diving, diving away, saying as much to him as they possibly can. And then they're down to one person, one seat left, maybe. And they started announcing the name of the person who, to, you know, basically the flight's about the board. You're gonna, and I'm just like, Davin, he got lost, <laughs> dropped his coffee somewhere. You know, so I have to tell you, it was a moral dilemma for me. I have to tell you on that one. <laughs> but I, I really wanted to get on that flight. But the, but the point was, in Bar Hashem, I didn't make it. But there was a lot of immense davening there and reflecting on, 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 on their relationship with Hashem because I really needed to get on that flight. And, and the, that really is the mission. That's the beauty of the opportunity. When we teach our students to daven, we teach them, that, first of all, how to daven, the value of davening, the importance in our lives. That's really what today is about. As the first graders, as you know, we're, we're about to become second graders, and next year will be the Chumash. It's that tool of understanding the importance of always having that relationship with Hashem. And regardless of the circumstance they're in, there's always a beautiful opportunity to daven. So we're now going to call in first grade and celebrate. Mazel tov.
don't know.
for being nice.
I'm gonna ask the sun for everyone to stay alive forever and never get old and um um and always have a birthday. I wanna ask Hashem for more kind of yummy chocolate. My tefillah is to have lots and lots of kids when I grow up. My tefillah is to ask Hashem for this base hamigdash. I'm asking Hashem for good toys. I want to ask Hashem for a plane trip to Israel and cute fluffy toys. I want to ask Hashem for COVID to be over. I want to ask Hashem for more trees because it gives us air. I want to ask Hashem for Mashiach because it is so special. I want to ask Hashem for being nice to people. My prayer is that Hashem makes a new type of animal. I want to ask Hashem for trucks and telescopes. My tefillah is that Mashiach will come. They've worked so hard. They've been really big leaders in the school this year. You know, they do their work. They come ready to work and pray, and I'm just so proud of that. And thank you, parents, for all the support you've given the class. And I want to last but not least call out more Esther and thank her. I brought it, but in version of you. Uh, no, I, I, I said I brought it in, in Rabbi Weinschneider's mouth. He has to do it. Oh.